Author Michael Ondaatje once wrote that the desert could not be claimed or owned, that it shifted like cloth and had a hundred shifting names. This mysterious beauty once entranced the adventurer T.E. Lawrence, the famous Lawrence of Arabia. Have you ever thought about what it'd be like to be riding through the desert, you know, like Lawrence of Arabia, making your way to the oasis? Well, this is Nevada. We've got the desert. All we need are the camels. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? From my authentic desert riding experience, I've traveled out to Camel Safari. This enormous farm lies in the picturesque land between the Virgin River and the Great Basin, about an hour outside of Las Vegas. Guy, how are you, buddy? Pretty good, John. Yourself? <laughs> I'm great. All right, you got to tell me about this camel safari. What's going on here? A few things. We do uh, camel rides, uh, we do off-road segway tours, and we do camel encounters, all on our property. Guy Seekless has been raising camels since 2010 and now shares his love of the animals with the public here in Mesquite, Nevada. So what does the camel encounter entail? The camel encounter is a meet and greet with the animals. It's touchy-feely, as in hands-on. And we start with an educational piece in our visitor center, teaching people about where camels come from, the different species of camelids. Uh, we have saddles, we have fiber, we have different types of cowbells, like camel cowbells. We've got a little miniature collection of stuff. Um, but we teach people more than they want to know about camels. <laughs> what about the land here? Tell me how big the land is. We have 176 acres uh, around us. We're bordered by the BLM on all sides. The Virgin River goes through our property and perfect views of the Virgin Mountains. And how long are the camel rides? Camel rides are 45 minutes, preceded by the camel encounter, which is 30 to 45 minutes. I haven't seen anything like this. I'm ready to get started. Take a closer Let, look. Let's go. Camel Safari boasts a stock of 29 of these gentle giants. All the camels go by name and keep Guy and his crew constantly busy. Now, what do I need to know about getting on these animals? Just like riding a horse, except bigger. <laughs> Swing the uh, right leg over and just keep the weight underneath you and sit back and dry, uh, enjoy and relax. All right, it's a, little, it's a little different for me, I'll be honest with you, never done this before. <laughs> what is their general disposition? Is it like a horse? Calmer. calmer. Camels are calmer than horses, they're more affectionate, they're easier to train, and they're also more intelligent. I get to ride Raider, a very laissez-faire camel, to be sure. He has a relaxed disposition, perfect for a camelid novice like myself. This absolutely answers the question of what it'd be like to be Lawrence of Arabia. This is the best thing ever, ever. Raider has one hump, which means he's a dromedary. Two hump camels are called Bactrian. His hanging lower lip is a sign of happiness. So the camels, tell me more about them. Where do they come from? Believe it or not, camels, just like horses, originated in North America. Really? Really. Camel ids have been in North America for uh, 40 million years, starting off as, uh, as little forest dwelling guys. There are none in the wild, is that right? No dromedaries exist in the wild. There are still wild Bactrian camels in the world. There are more pandas in the world than there are wild Bactrian camels. Wow. In existence. And what's in the hump? It's not water? It's fat. An average uh, hump should have 80 pounds and it should be fat. What's the deal with the water? How far can they go without it? Three weeks. Three weeks. No wonder they look chapped. <laughs> they look a little parched. The safari has more attractions to it than just the camels. It's hard not to fall in love with the desert landscape. The sandy hills and mountain backdrops cast a spell over its travelers. If you want something different and you want to do it outdoors, this is it. I don't, I've never seen anything like this around. Exactly, I mean, look at that. How's that for a view? Do you do uh, evening rides, sunset rides? We are just about to start a sunset ride, which will be along the river. Um, and that will be our, our romantic option, the sunset. And just like that, my desert adventure comes to a close. I can definitely see what T.E. Lawrence loved about these dry lands, and I certainly have a newfound admiration for my traveling companion, Raider. This is absolutely a bigger and better experience than you can even imagine. The scenery is awesome, the people are great, and these animals are just a beautiful thing to behold.